Hi, in this video I will show you the solution for uh, this problem when you try to run an Angular application uh, and the command ng is not available anymore. So this was, uh, I'm documenting this uh, case because it was a real, uh, uh, real tough or stiff uh, problem. I, I couldn't solve it for hours now and I read a lot of stuff in uh, in, in the uh, in the web where there are a, a thousand command, uh, commands done and uh, I think it happens all uh, also because of these plural commands. So the simple way is uh, when you get this uh, this error that you install the um, that you first Maybe you check or you uh, simply install the Angular uh, application, um, the Angular CLI. So this is the command itself, ng is the Angular CLI. And um, I want to show you now here uh, in my case, now when you open an application, when you have an application, and uh, no, no, not, not, that's the solution. <laughs> um, when you have an application and you try to run it in visual code, that's uh, the default stuff what mo most people do. Then, um, then when you when you are in your client application or in an application, then you run visual code. Then you will see visual code, and you will be able to run the in the in this command uh, in the terminal new terminal this command so they are simply do the ng serve and everything will be done and you may also uh, do this uh, the create a component or do a create a serve uh, a service and something like this this should work but uh, when you try to run several um, to clean the cache. Uh, okay, how, sh how shall I go on? Uh, now, where is this this command? Where where is it? You install it by the npm insta installation. Uh, that's the default. What you need? Uh, what I'm looking for. Uh, this is where the commands is. No, 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 no. Here install it with uh, first you have to install node.js and when you have installed node.js then a lot of stuff is there but the the real stuff will come when you try to uh, create an application uh, the an, an angular application and then um, and then in the application you will have here in your nodes um, there should be the Angular. That's the Angular CLI. You have it in your application. That's your local stuff. And you will check this. You will have a. a, a you will check all that stuff by npm. Um, what is in your application? You may. You we we do this npm. Where is it? My small here. Yeah, this npm list local stuff so this lists what is in my application where which i have opened and yet there you see there's the uh, angular cli so this is a new application and it's with the angular cli the latest version angular install angular uh, cli so this is always when you do this list uh, install install this one install what you see on the bottom npm install angular cli latest this is installed in your application there where you are at the moment but there's also another one now when you and you, and you will see this one when i check it now, now this is in the application that's what you see there that's the same what you see there but it respects by this stuff. And what you also will do be, be able to do is this little command, this npm uh, g global list. 
And now when you list this one, <coughs> you will come to the folder, to this folder, which is called here, uh, your name, user's name, app data, roaming, npm. Now, now we are here in the modules and now you see that's the, uh, the npm uh, default stuff by your uh, point. And then you have this check updates and blah, 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 blah. And there's a lot of st struct structure in there. But you, w what you should see there is this angular, this little stuff. This is the global dash global. And this is when you when you try to run it. Um, when you when you run this command npm g list then you will see uh, when it's wrong you will only see this npm check or and set and then nothing what you should see is this one but if you uh, if you have a big problem on this then uh, this will not be available there so what I, did i do uh, normally you have to run this command uh, npm install g angular cli and then the latest and the latest one was wrong simply install this one uh, g angular cli and after this your uh, all your uh, commands should work again and then you should also have here this ng i think it's ng version or something like this then whatever happens is that your ver the ng command works otherwise you get this big this big error there uh no not here, this one this uh ng uh is not uh available or not served or uh, no, the the system doesn't not, doesn't know anything about it and this works works also when you go to the powershell administrator then you also have this command in your application um and what I wanted to say is how to solve this problem. Uh, when I walked through all my codes and all that stuff, simply install this one without the latest version. What I did was uh, I installed the latest one and uh, otherwise you may also try to delete it. And what I also did in my, uh, not confusion, in my, um, in my helplessness uh, then i tried to uh, also install the entire system again and then i rebooted the system uh, whenever you install that stuff in your uh, powershell then you also have to close powershell and open powershell again when you go to the path for example yeah but as i said this is a tough error when it doesn't work uh, and when it works everybody gives you good uh, good ideas simply go there make this check uh, uh, the list npm list <clears throat> and when you f when you know when you don't find the global angular cli then install it without a list now i know this is a lot of uh, stuff which i talked but uh, Whoever will have this problem will come back to me.